Hey guys, so it's me Jessica and today I'm going to be reviewing a book. So the book is called The Boy Who Followed His Father Into Auschwitz. It's written by Jeremy Bronfield. So th this is my most recent read, so I thought I would uh, review it quickly. Um, so first of all, this is a true story of an actual uh, son who followed his father into Auschwitz, uh, which is really incredible. I've read a lot of Holocaust um, books actually and this one is very very special because it shows that true bond between um, a father and a son and it shows the bond of a whole family actually. So this book is mainly uh, focused on two people which is Fritz and Gustav which is the son and the father. Um, but actually, in the first half of the book, it's focused on their entire family, which consists of the father, the mother, two sons, and two daughters. So let me show you a picture of them. So this is it. Um, and the father is him, and the son is him. Like the two central characters, Gustav and Fritz. Kleinman. So I think it's a very, very touching, emotional book. Of course, all stories of the Holocaust are very depressing, very saddening, and it makes you feel, has this actually happened in our world? But unfortunately, it's all true. And to see people being resilient um, in a place such as Auschwitz is incredible. And actually, these two have been to another concentration camp before Auschwitz, which is Buchenwald in Germany, and uh, they survived that. And then only the father was selected to go to Auschwitz, but the son came to know about it, and he intentionally put his name onto the list of people being sent to Auschwitz. So he went with his father, he did not want to leave him alone, he wanted to be with him, and he also doesn't have anyone else. So half of the book, like I said, it follows the entire family. And initially they're all together, but then after they get separated, uh, the book kind of moves on to different locations. So at first, uh, like half a page focuses on the father and the son, and then half a page focuses on uh, the mother and one of the daughter in, in different locations. So, so you need to, uh, understand that half of the book keeps changing its locations and keep ta keeps talking about different characters and what they're experiencing in a particular point of time. But then in the second half of the book, um, it only focuses on the father and son and their life in Buchenwald and um, in uh, Auschwitz. I think this is a must read, to be honest. Everyone who knows me, they know I love that I love books uh, based on the Holocaust. Uh, I think it's extremely interesting what people are capable of doing to one another. So that, that's the main reason I, I read these books. It's extremely tragic, but I think we should never forget our past. and. And similar to that, this book is also very, very saddening, especially towards the end. Uh, you will know why. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. So now I'm just going to read um, the short synopsis at the back for you guys. Vienna, 1930s. The Kleinman family lived a simple, ordinary life. Gustav works as a furniture upholsterer while Tinny keeps her modest apartment. Their greatest joy is their children, Fritz, Edith, Hertha, and Kurt. But after the Na Nazis annex Austria, the Kleinmans would rapidly shift before their eyes. Neighbors turn on them. The business is ceased. The threat to the family becomes ever greater. Gustav and Fritz are among the first to be taken. Nazi Polis send a pair to Buchenwald in Germany, the beginning of an unimaginable ordeal. 
Over the months of suffering that follow, there is one constant that keeps them alive, the love between father and son. Then they discover that Gustav will be transferred to Auschwitz, a certain death sentence, and Fritz is faced with a choice. Let his father die alone or join him? Based on meticulous archival research and Gustav's secret diary, this book tells the Kaiman's remarkable story for the first time. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention is, um, yes, this book is also based on Gustav's secret diary. So while he was in the concentration camps, he had a small book with him where he noted down a few things that um, happened in there and he hid it. And it's amazing how, how secretive uh, he could be in a location like that because no personal items were allowed in those concentration camps, but he managed to, to hide them. And I think that is pure genius. Um, overall, I think research is extremely well done for this book. It's written in a way which will make you want to keep reading it and not put, put your book down. So I really think this is a very interesting, at the same time, very tragic read, but I still think you should read it. The love between the father and his son is incredible, and I think the world should know about it. Thank you very much. See you in my next video. Bye.